So how do you jumpstart a 2013 Tesla Model S? If you walk out to the car with a key in your pocket and you expect it to do its normal thing where the door handles pop out, what happens when it doesn't pop out? Uh, this is actually uh, my dad's car. My dad passed away. The family, myself and everybody else got very distracted. The car sat for two months next to a spot that, nor that normally does not have a charging outlet. So this was a little problematic. Uh, so I came back to the car two months later, nothing happened. So how do you jumpstart a 2013 Tesla Model S? There's a couple videos on how to jumpstart uh, these cars. There's one video on a newer one where you uh, take the inner fender liner out in front of the wheel down here. And then there's like a little pull cord. The pull cord then pops the trunk. Then you can access the 12 volt battery that's in that cowl down there. On this one, because it's older than that, this is a 2013, what you do is you remove the front grill. So here's the Tesla grill, right? It goes here. You pop it out, you just get a screwdriver in here and you pop it out gently. These lugs go straight to the battery. You are going to put a 12 volt jumper box just as if you were trying to jumpstart a ICE vehicle. When I tested the voltage at this terminal before I jumpstarted, it was like four and a half volts. So it was very low. As soon as I jump started this with a little jumper pack, I walked up to the car. Now the door opens. So the next trick was getting the car actually charging. The little battery indicator on the lower left section, uh, it now reads 157 miles, but it said zero. A bunch of warnings kept on scrolling through the dash. It did tell me that my power out my wall plug was not charging. So I knew something was wrong with the plug that I was plugging into at the house. The Tesla will charge on a 110 outlet. It'll charge on a 220. It'll charge on a 50 amp plug, a 30 amp plug, all these different plugs. Tesla sells all the different variations to adapt your uh, Tesla plug to whichever wall outlet you want. We are in an auto repair shop. We have the typical welder outlet plug. I have adapted this one from a 50 amp plug down to a welder outlet plug. When I plug this in, this little green light turns on. This is the charge cord, okay? I was not getting a green light before. The green light, uh, I've been told, is what's checking for a neutrally grounded circuit. Uh, so the neutral wire in the house has to have its own ground. Many old houses, had the ground and the neutral twisted together. This green light is basically inspecting for that and it's a safety feature. If this green light doesn't turn on, then what you have to do is you have to find a plug in the house that is neutrally grounded or you have to bring in an electrician and bring a neutrally grounded plug near wherever the car is parked or you have to have the car towed to a place that where you can charge the Tesla at a standard plug. So if you've gotten this far already and there's no light on there, then what you also would have found, push and hold the back of the key, there's a button back here and then that's what opens your fuel door. Once you plug this guy in, I was only getting a blue light. I was not getting a green light. See how that goes green? The green means that it's charging, it's ready to charge. I was only getting a blue light and then in the dash, it was saying that uh, the wall outlet was not acceptable. So if that's happening, then the car is not gonna charge. To summarize this entire event, how I got this car back to operational, I got it back to the same amount of battery that it used to have, which is 160 mile range. It was at zero and it was down for the count. DC to DC charger, which is the converter, that's what charges your small 12 volt battery that's up in the front of the car in the front trunk. That gets charged off the main battery just by means of a converter. It's like an alternator in a regular car. So as the alternator is spinning, it's charging the 12 volt battery. As the main battery is charging, the converter is gonna charge the small battery. So without the main battery getting charged, your 12 volt will not charge. Once we got this light turning green and the battery charging, then the small 12 volt battery also started charging. 
So you have the 12 volt battery in the front. You have the main battery underneath the car that gets charged by this. You can open and access the car on, an, on the older Model S by popping the front grill off and jump starting it. Uh, that's how you can access. So all your door handles and your windows and all that stuff, that all works on a 12 volt circuit. If you have any questions, call me. I'm here to help. Charlie's Foreign Car.